Hello there, I am Andy McNamara and you are watching Bent TV. And tonight I am speaking to Brenda Appleton. She is from Transgender Victoria. And we are going to talk about a very recent, interesting um, item in the media. Hello, Andy. Hi, Brenda. Good Tell to us. be here. Thanks. I guess the article that I'm concerned about was one from Jermaine Greer. Yep. And Jermaine Greer, through the 60s and 70s, did a huge job for feminism. Totally. And recognised worldwide, and no one objects to that. The comment that Jermaine Greer made recently, which was very hurtful, was her feeling that trans women, people assigned male at birth, now living as a woman, so right. trans women are really men in dresses and she does not accept that being trans is a real state of affairs and she doesn't accept that people um, can move from their male assigned birth. Can you explain, I guess it's sort of pretty obvious, but how does that make you feel? It makes me feel irate. Um, I feel um, disenfranchised. I feel that um, it is a, an ill-informed comment. I think it's ignorant and I think it is very harmful for those of us in the trans and gender diverse community. Um, I'm very disappointed that mm. somebody with her standing that commands press and media around the world uh, would come out with what I consider to be such an outrageous comment. Um, many people within the community have reacted very negatively with it. Um, and if Jermaine Greer understood what people like myself and others have been through to, I guess, get to where we've got to today. Most of us have had severe depression and anxiety. Most of us have had suicidal incidents. Um, more than 40%, sometimes as high as 50% of trans and gender diverse people do attempt suicide. Right. So it's a rate of 25 to 30 times that in the general community. Right. We don't do what we do as a life choice. No. We don't do it at, on a whim. We do it because it's, we need to be true to ourselves. It's who you are. It's who we are. And the ignorance of a comment from Jermaine Greer and the damage that it does and unfortunately the credence that it gives to some others yes. um, is just very damaging. And uh, I'm very disappointed that we continue to have this sort of vile comment coming from people who should know better. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I guess in, in more recent years there's been a couple of times Jermaine Greer has made mm -hmm. comments that have surprised people. The f one that st stands out in my mind were about Julia Gillard and she spoke about instead of the policies or whatever it was about, the, the outfits and her bottom, and um, which was very, very surprising for someone known as a feminist. Just, it just seemed ridiculous. Yeah, and it, it, it's difficult to... How these people should retire gracefully and disappear from the scene, I think, and it's a pity that they continue to, um, to grab headlines and, I think, on the whole, uh, be making inappropriate and, and hurtful comments. I wonder if, um, yeah, hopefully we'll hear something from Jermaine. Someone can educate her and we can hear a new um, view from her. I don't, uh, I don't know if she's too old to change, <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I wouldn't don't hold, hold my breath. breath no. <laughs> I think the other interesting development we've had this year has been the transition by Bruce Jenner to Caitlyn Jenner. Right, yes. And that's generated a huge amount of publicity worldwide. Um, for many of us, um, it was a little bit of a struggle with somebody from such a privileged background right. um, flying by private jet everywhere and uh, affording all sorts of surgeries and uh, doing things the easy way. I guess so, but, but it it's did, a lot of publicity. It, 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 it helped raise the discussion around exactly. trans and gender diverse. Um, I think there was a lot of good discussion about what are appropriate questions and what aren't yeah. um, in terms of um, interviewing people from the trans and gender diverse community. 
And as I've said, we, we had a big increase for Royal Children's. There was a big increase in referrals to the Monash Gender Dysphoria Clinic as well. So it did help some other people to progress their thoughts and progress their actions in terms of being true to themselves. Some people said it was the only good thing to come from the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a different world, isn't it? <laughs> yes. um, yeah, I can, see, I can see the point of view that, you know, the privilege and whatever, but, but it is so fantastic to see everybody. That was in the news everywhere. It couldn't be ignored. Oh. So, you know, people who hadn't want to hear, that, hear anything about that sort of story had to just, you know, get it in their brain and, and think mm. a little bit. So mm. it's all part of the, the global discussion, I think. And then more recently, we've had Kate McGregor um, nominated as Australian of the Year from Queensland. Yes, how fantastic. And it is fantastic. Um, Kate's done a huge job in terms of talking about her own journey. Yes. And um, she says she's a reluctant role model, but certainly she is a role model for us in Australia. Totally. And um, so we need more. And uh, it's, it's, it's important that people can see success stories and not just the difficult stories. Totally, totally. It need, yeah, mm. there needs to be some positive celebration. Oh. And, um, yeah. and, and for so many of us, we do work through our difficulties and we do have successful lives after. So um, I, I, I hope Kate does well in terms of the, um, the process for Australian of the Year. Yes, me too. We, on Bent TV, we had a series a couple of years ago called Transmission all yes. about trans and gender diverse people. And part of the brief of it was, we want to celebrate, we want to have plenty of positive stories and just mm. show there is happiness and success. It, yeah, there's, the gloom, the gloom is real, but we need to just realise there's, there's, you know, a light in the distance to aim for. Oh, very much so. And I think um, for young ones coming through, it is important to see that we can um, be powerful contributors to society. Yes. And as you're perhaps aware, I'm on the LGBTI task force. And I think uh, that's a role that a trans person hasn't done before. Yes. We've got Ro Allen as the commissioner for gender and sexuality. Um, so those that are in the trans and gender diverse community can succeed and, are, and can contribute to society. Yes. And the world's getting better and better. For <laughs> I think so. More yeah. balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. And diverse. Yes. Thank you, Brenda. Great to chat to you. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. You've been watching Ben TV. Thank you.